love it. Turn of the tape for Cameron and Hasanov. I cannot stress how odd this man's life is. I'll fill you in on it during the fight, but uh, very much looking forward to having him back here at Karate Combat. Jesus Lopez back for the fourth time here at Karate Combat. Everything's pretty even in the height and reach department for this one. Our referee for this co-main event tonight is Mr. Sam Amidi. He is going to get us underway here. White pants for Cameron and Hassanov. Black pants for Jesus Lopez. Touch of gloves, arms shaken out, and immediately Hassanov looking to go to work here. Very dynamic posture. Boom, inside. Got to watch out with that. Jesus should just take it, counter right straight. Yeah, let's see how long the feeling out process is here between these two. Oh, or you can set him up, suddenly make it a high kick. Oh. Inside low kick, inside low kick, high kick. Yeah, Cameron and Hasanov uh, had to flee an arranged marriage at the age of 16, where he was then unfortunately lured into uh, gang slave labor on a construction site in Moscow for a year before he was able to escape and finally travel back home. It's a very bizarre story of human trafficking, but... Uh, He's here now and, and very happy to be a very positive person off the back of that kind of adversity. That's crazy, yeah. Oh, once you experience that, that oh. life is beautiful after. Yeah, you know, he, he said to us, he said, my whole life's a fight. If I can't get up by myself, nobody's going to help me. Yep. Oh, I love it. He came bearing uh, gifts. He gave me this whole mugger full with special nuts and all that and a little small bottle of vodka. He gave, gave you some vodka as well, yeah. <laughs> So Jesus Lopez with the center of the pit here has actually moved down oh. in weight class since his last fight. So you do expect him to be the bigger of the two men in there this evening. The last inside low kick that he, oh, he connected with the right hand. But was that really the reason he fell or did he just slip? We're gonna see that later in the replay, hopefully. Boom, boom. Good shots to the body from Hasanov as they Tangle in the clinch here, kick on the break. Yeah, I don't know. I can't read if Lopez is still a little dazed, if it was connecting or not. Well, let's see here. He's got uh, the more static of the two postures. He's allowing Hasanov to dictate some of the movement here, although he does maintain the center of the pit, switching between stances. Into the final minute now. Good. Oh, he wants to make a spinning kick there. You think Lopez just trying to bring the tempo down a little bit? <laughs> Ooh, that was a nice catch kick, yep. You see, you throw it with power, then I'm all good about the single kick. Again, just uh, slowly edging forward against the edge <laughs> of the pit here, just... Take me in, coach. Yeah, trying to take some uh, focus away from that fight for the lead hand. Kick the hand. Oh, and they are loading up here. Which one's going to explode oh, first? Go. 10 seconds left. Oh, big right, big oh, left nice as well. Right up a cut. Nice and throw. Lopez. Beautiful. Yeah, nice little Haragoshi at the end. Oh, good some shots. There were right hoops. I believe that was on the right side, left side from. Okay, so straight. Oh, so a little bit of damage now on the face of Hasanov. He obviously ate a shot there. Yep. Well, let's see if we can get that in some replays for you as he goes to get some attention. Pit side, we're going to take a look back at some of the action from round number one. It might have been the shot I was talking about. Bonk. Let's see here, Bas. So, good exchanges, both men landing. Some decent shots that. on the inside, and that was a nice right hand. You see that, I wanted to know if he was dazed. He did seem a little slow coming back up and resetting his position, it has to be said, but that was the oh, shot that did the damage. That, that right nose. hand as clean as you like on the nose. And then Beautiful. the Haragoshi off the back end. Oh, I love it when they 
combine those things together. A strike, a takedown, and another strike. I mean, uh, easily the most significant moment. I mean, that, is that a broken nose bass? It very well could be. Yeah, well, you can still fight. They uh, gave me the option, but my nose was broken <laughs> to UFC. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Kamrid in Hasanov wiping his own blood and across his Dragon body. Style. Yeah, he's yeah. getting fired up here. It's going to take more than uh, a straight right to the face to put this young man down, but Jesus Lopez game for the challenge as he resets himself in the center of the pit. Got a further three minutes on the clock here. I know we're doing the 80s movie thing, but, you know, blood sport's a little bit far. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope nobody has a pill tucked behind the waist belt. Oh, and spits the gum shield out, asks for a quick reset. Not deliberate, of course, just uh, took a breath at the wrong moment. He smears it over. <laughs> this is literally looking like <laughs> Enter the Dragon. It's very the strange gamesmanship, it has to be said, but Lopez unfazed at the moment. He's just got to keep doing what he's doing. He's clearly having success with it. And the thing we've got to consider, Bass, is with Another round after this, and two minutes still left in this round. How oh. is that going to affect the breathing of Hasanov if his nose is that badly damaged? But you beat, you know, I, I, uh, I always say, you know, they're going to open their mouth. It's just dangerous when you attack, you know, you, don't want, you want to squeeze down, of course, because you don't want to get caught by a counter. But otherwise, it shouldn't be that big of a difference. Oh, and again, Lopez looked for that right oh. hand on the counter. Nice spinning wheel kick from Hasanov. Really trying to get inside the head of Lopez. Yeah, but Lopez is... Cool and collected. Looking to load up that foot for pushing off the wall. Finds his way back down into the head. Spinning hook kick misses. He's chill. And we'll say that in the 80s. <laughs> chill. Okay. So I want something. Hasanov again closes distance. Oh, failed on the Harai. Never really loaded the hip up there. Stepped across a little bit too lightly. Yep. Should have pulled him in. Yeah, you've really got to sink your base down as you, you enter that throw. That way when you pop back up and elevate your hips so that the weight is loaded above you. Again, they tie up and he looks and oh, a step. little bit static on the, the, uh, the step. Oh, Spinning nice. back fist. Lopez doing a good job of controlling the range here. He's always pressing Hasanov back. Although Hasanov is allowing himself to be to a certain degree. Final 40 seconds of this Oop. round. Little dancing moves in there. Yeah, he's got My to set those up. shots up, though. Yep. Again, hand strikes. Set up kicks. And Lopez looking to counter strike perhaps again here. He's measuring for that backhand. You know, Lopez said to us he felt that his opponent was, uh, whilst entertaining, was a little bit messy in his his execution, and that's where he thought he'd be able to capitalize. Again, looking to land that single decisive strike. Final seconds here, he had a good end to the first round. Is it gonna be the same in the second? Well, not quite. Referee pulls them apart, as we're gonna to go to a third and final round. So let's take a look back at this fight. And that was a nice right hand from Hasanov. But it was on the forehead. Not that it's, you know, not effective. I'm just saying uh, Lopez a, a really nailed the nose, right? <laughs> and he said his speed and precision will make him win the fight. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Audio. Yeah, the gamesmanship. I mean, staying in the fight, trying to get inside the head of your opponent, but you got to land the offense to go with it. As we take a look at more repairs going on, to the face of Kamaradin Hasanov. Lopez said to us he was feeling very strong in, in spirit, not just physically, but in spirit for this fight. As we get one last look at the corner of Hasanov. Lopez trying to stay very calm, very collected. Final round, final round. All right, here we go. Lopez did also tell us he felt he had a much better camp for this one, oh. having been limited under some quarantine restrictions previously, a bit freer to, to train this time. And he comes wow. forward, lands a nice solid right again. And I love it, he kicks with the left and he steps in an orthodox stance in any counters. 
Just keep the flow going. Beautiful. Again, measuring the lead hand here. Asanov backs up once again against the corner of the pit. Going to push off. You know that Lopez is loading that right hand up. These two are going to collide, and nice. there we go. That was fast. It's because he pushed off. Yeah, it was Hasanov who got to the uh, got to the hit first on that occasion. Still maintaining the speed well into the third round. Oh, and again. You would like to shot at all. One body shot. Yeah. Left body right straight to the head, you know? None yet. But you would like to see some follow-ups here. They're, they're resetting to a static position each and every time in these exchanges. No, oh, and you cannot do that. No, you, if no. you... Yeah, that's not a reason to, uh, to to take a timeout and stop the fight. Yeah, because then the referee will stop the fight. Yeah, unless it's a, unless it's a finger to the eye, in which case you're entitled to... Uh, Oh. Receive a look at that right connected again. Yeah, you could hear it from here. Look at this position loaded up to the throw from the wall. And looking very strong in the clinches uh, is, is Lopez. You can tell he's come down a weight class, can't you? Yeah, he's much stronger. But like you said, he's calm, he's focused. He doesn't let them get distracted by all the crazy theatrics his opponent is throwing at him. Well, Cameron and Hasanov is decorating the corner of our pit here. And I think the referee is asking for a towel to wipe down part of the pit quickly. You're bleeding all over the place. Come on now. Uh, I don't think Cameron Hasanov cares too much. He's going to get stuck in here with one minute or just over one minute left in this bout. And he, he has found the mark with some of these shots. Just the, the power edge has gone to Jesus Lopez. Yes, 100%. I was just going to say the same thing. Cameron is attacking, but you see the power is gone. Oh, yep, and our referee has waved this one off. It's going to be a TKO injury stoppage. And we are going to get a, a long look at the face of Cameron in Hasanov, I would imagine. A very happy Jesus Lopez. He did what he needed to do in this bout. And he still is completely calm. <laughs> no emotion whatsoever. Very cool. Let's take a look at the end of this fight, Bass. Bunka. A little upkick there from uh, Hasanov as, as Lopez looks to clear the guard. And at the end there, the referee takes a long look at the face. And he's decided that uh, enough is enough. The blood is really starting to impede the, the vision of Cameron and Hasanov. And the damage is simply too great as you see him getting some final medical attention there. And wearing the, uh, wearing the spoils of war, perhaps, so to speak, is Jesus Lopez as he's going to come to the middle here and look to get his hand raised. And he did exactly what he said he was going to do. Precision and speed. <laughs> nice. I love to see that. Every time. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner by TKO, Jesus Lopez! Our victory roar from Jesus Lopez, successful here in our co-main event tonight. One final show of respect between these two competitors. Let's spread the, spread the blood out. <laughs> Let's give everybody a little bit. Well, um, Leila Anneli gets the pleasure of standing next to our victor. She's pit side with Jesus Lopez. Now, you had quite the showman in front of you, but you maintained your calm, precisive control fighting throughout. Yes, I, I'm very happy for this fight. Uh, 
the, the other karateka is very, very warm. I am very happy for, the, for this fight. It's very emotional, great. Uh, I want to say thank you, uh, Sensei Sarria, uh, Sensei Victor La Rosa, Sensei Arturo Delgado, the, all the team in Peru, my family, my mother, my old friend. Uh, you are the best. Thank you so much. Thank you, people. Awesome. Congratulations to Jesus Lopez. He moves to two and two here at Karate Combat Bass. Let's take one final look back at the action from that round, and I hope we're going to see that nose break one more time. That will be cool. Boom, big swings. That was the first round. That's when he dropped Jesus. It looked to us. But Jesus is a hell of an actor, or he didn't get hurt. That was a beautiful shot by Lopez. Yeah, that one broke the nose probably. Oh, big punch there by Tamaridan. A little bit of a dance there. Oh, yeah. Oof. Time out, time out, he says. Yeah, no, can't no, do there's that. no time out. Always defend yourself. And I do wonder if that influenced the referee's decision later on at this point to stop the bout. And at that yeah. point, the referee chose to wave it off. Tamaridan has to not. Uh, not happy with that. He was still game for the last 45 seconds or so that was left on the clock, but... Uh, Oof, he was did licking. he just... Yeah, oh, he did that. Jesus Lopez is a savage. 